Do we do the same type of intro thing, or what do you want me to do? Yeah. Same right. intro. This is what it looks like living in Westford, Mass. Something like that. Hey everyone, this is Matt Swerk and I'm a local real estate expert right here in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, if this is the first time you come to our YouTube channel and you're interested to find out what it's like to eat, sleep, drink, play, and what it's like to live in one of the great suburbs of Westford, Massachusetts, then you definitely want to subscribe to our channel, click the little bell so every time we make a new video you'll be notified. So it's really interesting running these videos. We're having so much fun. Someone questioned my, uh, my true uh, Bostonian. They said I didn't pronounce my R's. I said, hey, I gotta morph a little bit. So today we're actually out with our thick skin right here in Western Massachusetts. It's about 14 degrees. Wind chill's about negative 11. We're not complaining. We got thick skin. We're excited about Massachusetts. You have questions, we have answers. When it comes to Massachusetts, we've got your back. So we're over here at the uh, Cornerstone Plaza in, like I said, in Westford. And this is a very interesting community in the sense that years and years ago, there was lots and lots of farmland. And this, this uh, plaza itself, I think, has been here maybe probably four or five years. It was completely, um, completely cleared out. As you can see, there's tons and tons of business. We are at the crossroads of Route 110. Uh, right off of where 495 is, so Westford's super accessible. And right on this, er right in this area itself, there's so much to do and so much to, to shop with. Right, uh, you can see over my shoulder, you have the veterinarian, you have Petco. I mean, whatever you need, you're gonna really find it in this plaza. Whether it is. Um, whether it's custom kitchen over here at Riverbend, um, there's home goods, great, great Italian, local, local Italian cuisine. We have one, t I mean, uh, Burton's Grill down the street. Um, local, local favorite. Like I said, I'm a South Shore guy and our grocery store was Stop and Shop. However, the rest of the, uh, the state actually subscribes to Market Basket, which now I am a big fan of. So beautiful Market Basket uh, that's right behind uh, Tyler that's holding the camera here. Um, this is a really, really nice place, and it's you know there's so many people that come shopping here. You got Panera Bread. I mean, we'll run through and we'll see everything, but everything is right here in this one centralized location. Like we said, uh, we're 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 out here. We're having fun. Let's go take a look and see what's out there. So if you happen to check out one of our earlier videos, we had talked about the uh, city of Worcester and uh, there was this great poke place down in Worcester. So this is a pretty cool place. This is the, uh, the Okie Pokey. And um, I love little uh, puns and names on that. Over my shoulder here, you have godly smoothies, right? Um, awesome, awesome uh, place to go get a, you know, a nice refreshing drink. And what's uh, interesting is uh, we just found out today there was a gentleman that decided to pay it forward and all the smoothies are free today. So. We don't need to get a free smoothie, so we'll pass that on to someone else. But let's <laughs> let's go check out. We got uh, you know not a local place, but five guys right around the corner. Um, getting myself hungry, trying to eat a little bit healthier. So over the next couple uh, months, as you start seeing our videos, you'll see less of me. It is what it is. <laughs> the music in the background. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so like we talked about, there's a specialty um, uh, cabinetry store here called Riverbend. And um, we're big fans of shopping local. This place has uh, kind of a little bit of everything as far as uh, appliances are concerned, cabinetry, flooring. I was walking by and I was kind of laughing because on their uh, sign it says vacuums. I'm like, that's kind of a weird thing to promote. However, listen, shop local, support the local mom and pops. It's the right thing to do. So you know we're out we're out looking at businesses we're out looking at the uh, some of the residential side as far as West was concerned we figured we'd bring it into one of the uh, little neighborhoods uh, very very diverse as far as housing is concerned uh, these homes are only about uh, 15 to 20 years old you can see it well you might not you'll, you'll see them later on some of them are a little bit newer um, of course being here in uh, Massachusetts there's lots of older homes uh, so you have a lot of the older homes with the cedar shake shingles. Um, these are all with vinyl siding, so maintenance free. Um, Westford's a very interesting community as far as the pricing is concerned. Uh, on average, um, you know, the, you, probably the average, help, the, uh, excuse me, the average uh, sale for a property is, you know, close to 700,000. You're looking at about 2,400 square feet. 
Um, and we, you know, there's very small properties. There are, you know, two bedrooms, uh, one bath. We also have some, you know, big time mansions. We had a property that just sold uh, less than three months ago that was 1.9 million. Uh, that was just under 8,000 square feet, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Uh, so the, you know that's that's a pretty big one. There was another couple, another couple large houses that sold over a million dollars. So uh, those are very typical, or, or or people expect to to hear those numbers in Westford, because one of the biggest draws to this community is the school system. So of course, great school system not so great taxes you know they kind of go hand in hand um, however Westford is super accessible as we've seen with some of the businesses there's lots and lots here uh, so the community can sustain itself um, but like I was saying as far as accessibility we're sandwiched out we're not really sandwiched yeah I'll say we're sandwiched we're sandwiched between route 495 and route 2 uh, so if you got to see any other videos you check out a map you'll kind of see this triangle where you have uh, Westford Littleton, Acton, and uh, Westford's great because it's right off most of most of Westford you can get to right off of Route 495. Uh, Route 495 wraps kind of a circular in the state. We have the 95 belt that's inside of that. And as far as accessibility, like I was saying, there's this other um, road, Route 2, that cuts across the state. Then you have Route 3 that runs straight up and down. So if you want to get to Route 3, I mean, Westford is just a couple minutes from there. Uh, so location's absolutely great. And as you can see, some of these properties around here, you know, this is, um, this is one of the nicer neighborhoods. I'm not going to say it's the nicest neighborhood. Uh, and, of course, it's not the worst neighborhood. But uh, this is a great place. And this is why people move to Westford. They have um, overall bigger properties. Um, it is something that you know people like to take advantage of the location if you have a family you can come as far as the school systems are concerned so very very quiet great services um, I, I was talking about school systems they're typically within the top five as far as the state's concerned so uh, great reputation here and you know this was a there was a, a small little farm time at one farm town at one point in time we were standing we're standing on what used to be a farm so as these houses are a little bit newer you know you can definitely see <clears throat> lots and lots of development here and as it's become more and more desirable you know, we have more and more businesses coming to this area as well. So uh, if you have come up here, there's a Neshoba Valley ski area, which is great. You know, a tiny, tiny little little hill that we have in Massachusetts to go s skiing and snowboarding. Um, makes me think about the Blue Hills, which is a, another ski area that's right next to my uh, home city of Quincy. Um, you know, that's a, I, I think it's this big, but uh, they, that's a great place. Yeah, Blue Hills, awesome place. They got the Trailside Museum, but I'm not going to go off on a tangent on that. But um, yeah, check out, you know, we don't really talk a lot about real estate, but this is, you know, if you kind of, if Tyler can kind of turn the camera here, uh, you know, you have some really nice styles. You know, most of these are colonial style homes. You know, some of them have some dormers. So I'd imagine that that greenhouse over towards the left with that brown door with the uh, brick facade, uh, I, I really like that style. And I'm sure that thing, if I pulled up the information on that, you're probably looking at about, uh, I'd say probably 800. Backyard. That's the one thing about here in uh, Massachusetts is that you know it, it, we don't our, our our spring is not that warm. Our falls are cool. Our summers are not that long. So a lot of people don't like to have a swimming pool because they think it's a waste of time, or they're going to uh, spend to get a heater and heat their pools so they can kind of stretch it out a little bit. So uh, definitely not like the other parts of the country that you actually can go swimming year round. <laughs>
we've gotten a little bit closer to the greenhouse and um you know we're, we're getting nervous here we don't want the police to be called on and say what are these sketchy guys doing in the neighborhood <laughs> um however after walking up a little bit closer to it and kind of thinking about it that house is definitely going to be i would say that's closer to the uh, 950s 975 range uh, just based off the size of it and where it is and what the amenities of the house have so um i'll, I'll do a fact check later we'll, we'll see where i am as far as my pricing is concerned <laughs> So uh, I'm super excited to be here today, right? Uh, we were laughing because we're figuring like, you know, how do we drop the reference of fried clams into our video, which we happen to do all the time, and it's not pre-planned, I promise. Um, however, Kimball's Farm, uh, you wouldn't think that they're gonna have fried clams, but they actually have some of the best seafood in the area. Uh, this is a very small, um, it's the same thing I was trying to figure out from before, not a franchisee, but it's a small chain not even a small chain, but they have uh, just about four or five locations out in this area. And um, the ice cream is unbelievable, as you can see over my shoulder, celebrating over 80 years. This is like their mothership store, if you will. Um, this one is great because not only do they have their, their homemade ice cream, and as you can see, I think there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 12 takeout windows, and in the summertime, those windows are packed from the beginning to the end. I mean, it is an absolute madness. This ice cream is so delicious. Um, you know, you spend a couple bucks on the ice cream, but they're like, what you get for it is absolutely worth it. Same thing as any of their grills or their seafood. I mean, you know, you're paying a couple extra dollars, but when you compare it to what you buy somewhere else, I mean, they really load it up, and it's a great value. Now, what I love about Kimball's is never mind their sea, you know, all their foods, all their ice cream, but this place actually has uh, two 18 hole mini golf courses up over the back here. Um, they have uh, batting cages, they have a nine hole pitch and putt, they also have this um, slingshot thing like a zip line, and I think they added some more attractions. And Tyler and I were really excited when we just pulled up here because. You're not going to know this unless you're from the area, uh, but behind this little backhoe machine, and there's some more. Oh, there's a, there's a little farm area for petting uh, petting animals as well. But uh, this this thing over here, this this uh, newer colored wood structure, this is a brand new area as far as their uh, their foods concerned. So we're pretty shocked. I haven't re you know we don't come to Kimball's in the middle of the winter time because uh, we do eat ice cream in the middle of the, in the middle of the uh, winter here in Massachusetts. However, uh, Kimball's isn't really open for that because it's not a huge demand, uh, and especially making specialty ice cream. So uh, we're really excited to be here, and uh, we're, we can't really walk around the grounds. However, this is something if you you know you talk Westford. People are absolutely thinking Kimball's Farm. So um, really, really fun place. And I think that once the weather warms out, you know, we'll come out and back again and we'll go play around in the, uh, the golf course and the, uh, the pitch and putt. So I, we're not going to stop at every plaza, like I said. However, we got to stop at this one. Um, an awesome Korean restaurant over here, or primarily Korean, called Seoul Kitchen. Um, really, really love the food over there. Some delicious spicy pork. I mean, you can't go wrong ordering there. Um, behind me, there's actually uh, an engineer. So if you want to come build a uh, new house, you get an engineer that can design it for you. There is uh, Prime uh, Fitness and Nutrition, and then uh, probably one of the favorite places in here is the uh, local craft beer cellar. So, um, and again, another another uh, local tile shop. So, whatever you need, uh, we got it here over here in Westford. So no, no um, it, it wouldn't be completed if you didn't come to a New England town and have a cannon and some cannonballs. Um, kind of weird. We're typically seeing that stuff when we're in downtown or in the, the uh, outskirts of Boston, like Castle Island and some of those areas. 
but uh, we just wanted to stop and kind of bring up something that is interesting. This is the little town common here in Westford. Uh, it's not a huge area. If we didn't have all this snow, you'd have you'd see uh, beautiful grass. You have the library over here. There's a great muffin shop called Muffins on Main, and um, you know we're starting to get into the residential side, and, and um, we're having fun today. We, we really can't stop at every single business however we want to stop here as you can see on my shoulder there's uh, Diggy's Detroit style pizza uh, this place is actually pr uh, fairly new here just the past couple months it opened up and um, we actually had uh, Tyler brought pe lunch for us last week and we had this awesome barbecue chicken pizza that had this um, honey mustard sauce on it and then we also had a potato and bacon pizza as well so uh, this is a you know we're not used to Detroit style you know we're used to New York style or our a lot of Greek and Italian pizza in our neck of the woods. So it's interesting. I my uh, one of my daughters is uh, in getting into coding, and um, I, you know you, you you go to places all the time you don't realize. But we have code whiz here, and I was just saying to Tyler, like, I wonder if that's a national chain. Uh, pretty cool place. Love the code. Love robots. Come on in. I'd love to go in there. Um, they have a foosball table, so that will be fun. But um, like I said, there's a little bit of everything in this plaza. It's, it's very uh, convenient. All right. So this is one of my favorite uh, local Italian places in the area, uh, Viva Cucina, uh, Trattoria. Um, absolutely delicious meatballs. They have great pizzas. Uh, I'm a big fan of having delicious gravy, and this place has great gravy. Uh, that is marinara sauce to some people that don't speak uh, Italian. So um, if you come to Westford, you got to eat here. It's actually a, um, a semi-local, um, uh, not a franchisees, but a local um, local chain. So there's a couple of them in the area. We're lucky to have one right here in Westford. Can you get the fire out there? Not really, huh? The fire? Yeah. Where? Right here. Oh, yeah, sure. The cool thing about here too, right, and like you're not going to do it now because there's snow on the ground. However, uh, come on a nice fall night, you can sit outside by this fire. Really cool. As we cruise around Westford, you're going to see, you know, with, with so much development as far as the retail side, there's a lot of mixed use as far as business as well. Uh, there's a lot of companies coming in. There's a lot of great developments as far as condos, uh, business parks. So we got, we got a lot going on here.